let's talk a little bit about controlling your figure. By default, Pivot Animator gives you one stick figure. If you want to add another figure, you simply click Add Figure. Now, it looks like you didn't add one, but if you click on the orange joint and drag over, you'll see that there's another figure. Now, there are differences in colors in the figures. When you select a figure, the joints will be red or orange. And that is the figure that if you do anything to, it will actually happen. So for example, over here, if I click delete, it is gonna delete the figure with the red joints. So if I wanna add another figure, there it is. Notice it adds it right in the middle. If I wanted to select multiple figures, I could hold the shift key and select both figures and notice the joints are red. So if I did something to them, like deleted, they'd both go away. If you want to edit the figure in terms of adding segments or other shapes, you can click on the pencil tool. Notice when I put my cursor over a tool, it does tell me what the tools do. So if you forget something, simply move your cursor. Like for example, this will center this figure. So if I move the figure out of the center and click on center, it moves it back to the center. This one will flip the figure over. Now you can't really see anything, so if I move one of the arms and I click the flip button, then you'll see how it flips to the other side. This is for changing the color of your figure. And notice it applies to the whole cover, not just an individual segment. If you have multiple figures and just say, I'm going to change the color of this guy. And I see how the pink one appears behind the black one. If I want the pink one to appear in front, Remember, the one with the red dots is the one that is selected. And I can click on this button, and it's called Raise Up. And notice it's going to put the pink in front of the black figure. So you might be familiar with this in other programs. It's called Send to the Forward or Send to the Back. But here they're calling it Raise Up. So I can also click on this one, and it puts it to the back. So I'll remind you again the figure that has the red joints is the one that is selected. If I click this one now, I could click it, put it here, and send it behind, or lower, and then raise. Something you're all familiar with is copy and paste. So if I wanted to copy this figure, I click on it, make sure it's the one that I want, has the red dots, click on the copy button, copy figure button and then here's paste and watch now I've got another figure the exact same look so this would be good if you did a lot of editing to this figure and you wanted to save it and use it again it will also copy it to the clipboard so if you wanted to put it in another animation you could do that as well so those are the basics of figure controls